Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel from Coralust, and today it's acclimation time. I'm going to show you our packaging and how we ship our corals to you, our valued customers. We at Coralust only use FedEx overnight for our corals and livestock and use very well insulated, inch and a half thick styrofoam shipping containers. So we don't require you to sign for your packages because we pack them expecting the worst possible case scenarios. Like leaving them on your porch in a blizzard or heat wave until you get home from work. We also offer priority AM shipping. Please request this in your shipping comments and we will gladly upgrade you to morning delivery. Dad, Dad! Okay, here we go. First thing you'll see when you open a package is an acclimation sheet on top with your invoice on the bottom. When you take the lid of your shipping container off, depending on the season and the weather in the state you live, you will either see a heat pack in the winter or a gel pack to keep things cool in the summer or nothing at all. There will always be a layer to keep your corals from shifting around during delivery and help even more with temperature fluctuations. This all means less stress for your corals. You will find that each item is packed accordingly to its own needs and is subject to change. We are always looking for new ways to improve this, how we do things, and that's why we want your feedback. Okay, it looks like it's acclimation time. Here we have Brandon looking for a good home and proper placement for his new coral. It's always a good idea to know where you plan on putting your coral because each coral has special needs. Things to plan for are lighting, flow, and whether this coral needs extra room for sweeper tentacles. Some corals at night can release sweepers. Tentacles that could stress or even kill an adjacent coral. Not a problem if you put it in a safe location. Here's a quick tip for acclimating your corals and livestock to the correct water temperature. Take a piece of styrofoam and a rubber band to help keep your bags afloat and to make them easier to reach or they will sink to the bottom. We try not to put any air in our bags so the corals don't get stuck breathing air if the box gets turned over during delivery. Allow your bags to float for about 20 to 30 minutes. Once your coral is the same temperature as your tank's water, you may proceed. Are you ready for this? It's only going to happen once and be rather quick. He's going to take out the coral and acclimate it now. Acclimation for corals is not that easy. It can take a long time for some to adjust. Just putting the coral in different water is only one variable. Lighting, flow, food, nutrients, the list goes on. I'm not sure if you're a longtime hobbyist or just starting out, but I used to believe that it was more beneficial to drip acclimate my corals, but only realized recently that this was more stressful for the corals because I was keeping them out of clean water longer than they had to be. Okay, now we move on to the invertebrates and fish. You can cut open your bags and pour them into a bucket with plenty of room for extra water. I recommend getting a pair of scissors dedicated to salt water. Remember to rinse them off afterwards. RODI water is the best because no hard minerals. Salt water can speed up the corrosion process. Now here's a useful tool that everyone should have. It's called a drip acclimation kit. You can purchase one from us or easily make your own. You just need airline tubing, which you can find almost anywhere. And if you don't have an adjustment screw, you can just tie the bottom end in a knot and this will slow down the water enough to drip. You can adjust the speed by pulling the knot tighter. Good things to keep around the fish tank are closed pins, paper clips, or potato chip bag clamps, pretty much anything that will keep the hose from falling out of the bucket. They tend to move and fall out on the floor. A little suction to get the water flowing, and you want to adjust the drip. The less water you have, the slower you want the drip. You don't want to rush this process. So it's rather slow depending on the size of your container and how much water you have. Use good judgment when acclimating. I would say an hour is a good time to acclimate on average. 
Remember lighting is important, your corals have been in the dark for a day, and you're introducing them to a new environment. Dimming your lights would be very beneficial to your new inhabitants. If you could dim them slowly, raise them back to normal levels over a two week period would be best. At least the whites in case you have strong halides or something powerful. Also, placing them low in the tank and raising them up once they are adjusted would work as well since you lose par on the bottom and size of your tank if your lights are centered. This is also helpful with fish and invertebrates. You can also keep your fish in a divider until the other fish have calmed down from seeing a new inhabitant. And this also lets the new fish eat and rest without being stressed out swimming away from the other fish if you have any. Make sure you throw out your shipping water. If you're like me, you probably once thought since it came from a clean tank, the water must be good quality and you don't want to waste it. But just by packing the coral and touching it, some of them will release protective coatings and defenses which have been sitting in that water since it was packed. I doubt you want to dump this water back in your tank now. It's dirty. This can be an expensive hobby. So taking your time and doing your research will greatly increase your successful reef keeping and minimize loss. Remember patience and don't try to make changes too quickly to chase parameters. I don't know who said it first, but nothing good happens fast in reefing. Wait, wait, wait. Stop the music. Hold on. I got a joke for you. My good friend Jimmy Fallon told me this joke and I wanted to share it with you. Okay, you ready? So what did the fish say when he swam into the wall? Damn! <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was a great joke. Uh, I'll be here all week. Thanks again for watching. Please leave your comments below. Enjoy the rest of your day and happy reefing.